Hello my pinkies and welcome back to another plan with me video. This time around it's going to be different. This is not a voiceover. We're going to do this film as you go type of style. Um, hopefully there won't be any interruptions. My oldest one is at camp this week and my mom's here to take care of my little one. The youngest one which is two so hopefully I could get this done within an hour before I get any disturbance or interference so let's get started this week we're gonna plan for August 7th till August 13th now the kits I will be using will be a no kits I got these beautiful 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 scrapbook paper from one of our viewers and she just sent me a whole pack of journal cards, like scrapbook page cards. And I was like, oh my God, you know, every everything that I went through is like inspiration, inspiration, inspiration. So I think there was at least, at least over a dozen scrapbook pages of, of these type of journaling cards in there. And I'm like, oh, girl, you shouldn't have. So Cynthia, thank you so much. I love it and I can't wait to use all of it. <laughs> As you can see, it's going to be beachy again. It's mermaid sea theme and I thought, you know, it's perfect for August also because I do want to get all my summer theme spread in um, by the end of August because to me September is already, you know, school starting, fall, so we'll try that and I'm going to try using all this in our spread today. So there will be times that I'll be off cameras because I'll be cutting these up. Um, there will be editing for this video so it's not because it's not because it's going to be voiceover but it's just editing dead times, um, dead time clips. Is that the right word? I don't know. That's why I have trouble doing this on film <laughs> instead of doing voiceover because I can't just literally think on spots not that uh, professional of of a speaker so I'm just gonna cut all these um, off camera and I will be right back so I have uh, cut up the scrapbook page and I only selected the smaller smaller journaling card because the big one will just take up the whole thing like, like this is already big and the other ones I have there is even bigger so this will take up the whole thing so I might just use this as a divider or something but I don't know we'll see so right now I'm just gonna sort it out to see what I'll be using and what I won't be using and because this is a no kit spread it's going to be a scattered style I cannot just do my original rolls of today's decorative full boxes and then my to-dos. It's just going to be scattered everywhere. That's the only way I could see it going. So please don't mind me. I'm just playing around with these cards. I'll fast forward this section because there's no point of you just watching me moving paper around. So I find that these are way too big. So these are maybe. So the maybe is gonna put on the pile to the side here because they're just way too big. And I do like this quote, so I'm gonna have it somewhere here. That's a for sure. And I do love this quote too. Tans fade, mermaid lasts forever. Um, these ones are smaller ones. So to do full boxes, I also pulled out some more, well, scrapbooking pages. These are the ones that I've used from the past, which I think will really work well with this spread here. So here you see some coral. So I'm gonna use this. This I used in last week's theme because it's the sandy beaches. And you can see the ripple of the water. So I'm gonna use that and this one. No. And the stripe is just a bit nautical to me. So. I think I'm just going to use this because I'm going to stick with the C. So yes, those, that's how I usually think in my head. So every time when I do film a plan with me, I do talk in my head and, and, set, and that's how I got to this. I'm like, maybe I should do film it live, film it while I speak and whatever's in my head will just speak out loud how I, 
how I um, decide on what pages to use and what not to use, so on and so forth. So because I find that this is a bit more detailed than this, so these will be my full boxes and this will be my sidebar, as I did use in my previous spread here and I, I loved it it's not too bad but it's subtle so I'm gonna do that same thing and I'm gonna use these as my full boxes because they're a bit more detailed so I'm just gonna go off camera again and cut these into size I'll be right back okay so I cut these into sizes I find that there's a lot of them here and I don't think I'll be using it all for my spread and I feel like I need to add another design element into here for the full boxes because I have this one which is only two of them a bunch of these so I need to do a third one because I don't want to overwhelm the spread with corals so I have this scrapbook page it's kind of sea nautical style it's called sea glass it came out last year I believe last summer and I still have it oh. I collect these things, I know. Um, so I'm just going through here. There was one that I think may work. I do want some pattern. I was thinking, oh, maybe I should do like an antique wood thing. But then when you do cut it into little squares of one and a half by two and a half, it doesn't really show that it's, you know, wood texture. It just shows like it's it's wavy. So. I decided not to use that. There's also these journaling cards, which I won't use because I'm gonna stick with my mermaids and the sea. But I saw this. I think this may work, like somewhere around this area here. It does look like a map because there's certain areas that if you cut it off may not look like what it should look like. But yes, this is the page. I was thinking something like this. I may add this one, and they had a gray version of this, or this one. So I'm debating which color to use, because if I use this one, it tones down, it tones down the spread, but then it brings in another color, which I do not want to bring in a gray. But if I bring in this blue, I feel like it's too much blue in here. Like, it's going to be too dark, you think? I'm going to stick with this one. Because to me, I'd rather have the same color palette than introducing a new color, which will make it even more chaotic. <laughs> so I'm going to stick with this one. I'll be right back. I'm going to cut some of these into sizes and bring them over. So I cut only four, if I need more, I'll just go and cut some more. So you could see here, because it is patterned, you could still tell it's kind of sea theme because of the fish hair. I tried to cut cut a, around the image itself. Like here you can't really tell what it is except a leaf. So I don't know if I'm gonna use this, but here you have an anchor and here you have a crab and a shell. So I'm gonna use these three for sure. So I said here, I'm not sure I'm gonna use this one here. And I have a few of these to play with, so let's, let's try this out. And the washi tape I'll be using for this spread are these ones here. So this is our Dreaming of the Sea collection. It comes with a pen too. I don't know if I have a pen handy with me, but yes. If you go to my Etsy shop, you'll see the pen but I'm gonna use this collection here. This is a gold foil teal whale washi. Oh, if I could get to see the foil washi of the whale, super beautiful. This is my pride and joy. I've designed this, created this, and I find that there's a lot of washi, like especially like the scallop washi here. Let me just get this in focus. The scallop washi is faced this way on the washi instead of like this. So that's why I designed this because it's so hard to find, come on, get focused. It's so hard to find washi tape that sits up. I don't think I have a scallop scale washi to show you, to show you what I mean. But 
the orientation of the scale is facing up instead of facing sideways um, of the washi. And plus, this is ombre. It's so beautiful. I love it. See how the color just changes like that? Like, oh, beautiful. So I can't wait to use this. And it is available only in my shop. You can't get it anywhere because it's my design unless someone decides to wholesale my stuff but yeah only in my shop super beautiful classic not too too over the top and then so this is the dreaming of the sea collection i have my skinny stars here right here skinny star washi and then these oh my goodness my bow my bows and my scallop these just came in this week so I am definitely gonna use this for this week's spray because I'm so excited and yeah this will be available either end of this week or next week it depends because I am crazy super busy I have so many things lined up that I'm just trying desperately to pay catch up on so this does come in also a lilac lavender like a light purple color too I'm not sure if I'm gonna combo all three as in one set or do them separately I don't know yet but for this spread we're gonna use the pink and the blue and lastly I have this washi that I used in my last plan with me it's the same pattern as this scrapbook paper it's the same collection so it's just a strip of this print right here all alongside so I thought I could use this too let me see if I open up to last week so it's it's this one here and it's so pretty so yeah everything hopefully will tie in because honestly <laughs> I never plan these out. People think that I prepare myself and and have this all done up before, but no, I literally plan on the spots and I have no no method or madness to how I plan. So let's get started. I know I've said that. it's been like what, eight, 20, 20 minutes already? I haven't even started. Like, come on, get with the program, Cindy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out my sidebar, I'm gonna do my washies down here, and then I'm gonna sort these out and tape them down. And all this will be fast forward, so you don't have to endure the slow agony pain of just watching me taping things and cutting things down. So I cut out two strips. I know at first I said I wanted to use this one, but then the more I thought of it is because I used this one last week. Maybe I should use this one. We'll see. We won't do the sidebar. See, I'm all over the places, guys. That's why I cannot. That's why I think doing this, just filming and me talking is not a great idea because I am not good at decisions. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to scatter them out. This week for me is super busy, but... You know, when you when I write it in my planner, it may not look busy because every day is the same thing, is that I am just literally cutting and printing and fulfilling, and that's it. So that's literally just three lines. <laughs> so that's why it's great to have, you know, a no-kit spread because you could just fill it up with other beautiful stuff. feel right now the whole spread is just like one tone this color so no to that I'm gonna stick with this and what color to it yes done we'll do that okay and then we'll do the washies I'm gonna do the whale down here because it's super pretty I don't know we'll see but all right now I'm just gonna tape everything down before I forget And obviously when you do scrapbook pages or no kit, these things won't be precisely cut into how the shit size. It may be off by a few inches or a few centimeters. It's not going to be perfect in this square here. 
which is okay because I'll be covering it with some washi or something, some element of design. Okay, so before I start on this side, I forgot to take off the pages. I just realized that when I was doing this, so I'm just gonna take the pages out of my planner. See, I am so all over. I tell you when I film like this, I am all over. How's everybody's summer going so far? I find that for me, it's just me. It's maybe because I have two kids. Like, July just went by so fast. Literally so fast. And I can't believe it's already August. And not to mention, it's already like the what? The second week into August. And next thing you know, two more weeks, school starts. Like, wow. Kids do keep you busy. And it's true that they say, you know, take pictures because they grow up fast because it's so true but yeah we did a lot of things during the summertime we didn't really go fly places or go to cottage well we don't even have a cottage what am I talking about um, <laughs> like you know what I mean like like chill out a Canadian thing to do like go to Muskoka cottage or whatever like we didn't do that we did a staycation um, which we did everything in one week. And I don't know why we decided to do that because by by the, the fifth day, I was tired, even though we had, we stayed home. But that whole week, by Friday, I was tired. And then Saturday, Sunday, I'm like, oh man, we still have to go here and here. And, and it just takes a lot out of you when you, oops, I just realized this is a little bit too, big. So I'll be right back. I'm just going to trim it out. There we go. Yeah. So I don't know. I think we should have done a staycation like spread out. Like do half of it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Because then that'll be like a two week thing. But yes. Maybe I'm just getting old. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm gonna have this one here. I don't think this was here originally. I'm pretty sure it was coral. But looking at this, I wanted to offset this here too. And then I know I'm gonna have this one here. We decided to put this one here, so I'm gonna put this one here, right here, like that. the width of it is already big so I may have to mount a background towards it. Yeah, we'll do this. See? And I'm gonna do that there. Will this fit up there? No. We'll do this down here. Like that. So I'm gonna cut this and put it here. Uh, maybe I'll put it down here. I can't think guys, I can't, I can't decide. I wish you guys were here to tell me what I should do and what your thoughts are too. These have to be trimmed. Let's just do the sidebar. You know, you guys could be honest with me with this video because <clears throat> I don't know how it works out. I've been always doing voiceovers and I'm just so used to it and if you find me doing a crappy job of this one, just let me know down in the comment below because I just want to try it out to see if it's a thing or if I could do it or not. And it doesn't hurt to try. At least I've said I've tried it once. I'm just going to line this up. Because I know some of you guys want to see my thought process and I do do these thought process in my head when I film my plan with me. But you guys don't hear it because I do voiceovers. Okay, so I'm just going to go trim this part off and some of this off. Okay, I am back. Did you guys miss me? Okay, so I'm just going to put these down. Before I put this one down, I'm going to do something in the back. Yes, 
we decide to do this one here like that yes but before I do that I'm gonna do that there so this one goes down here for sure and this one I feel like every summer I always have to have like a mermaid or sea spread in my plan with me not in my plan but in my planner Maybe because I'm just so out of ideas. I don't know. <laughs> I did think of buying a kit for for like the mermaid kits instead of creating one this year. But I didn't have a chance to find any that I like. So then Cynthia sent me these lovely, 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 lovely a scrapbook page. I'm like, perfect! I can use these. Does that look weird? <laughs> Too late now. Right? Like, like that. Okay, before I do anything, I'm gonna do the bottom. Think of doing gold foil. I'm not going to worry about covering the bottom words because this washi is meant as water, right? As the beach or the sea, the water. So it's okay to be see through. That's my way of thinking. I don't even know if I'm speaking loud enough to, to have the audio. this because I didn't really test it out yet which I should have right like but the thing is with my camera it has no input not like that I could plug in a mic or anything which I wish it did but I can't plug anything in so it just picks up whatever it could pick up and hopefully I'm close enough to the camera that you guys could hear me because right now when I speak I, I look down to my spread and speak instead of looking into the camera and speak like this. So, I don't know, we will see until I start editing this footage. And if it doesn't work out, there's always voiceover, right? But hopefully it works, because this is an experiment that I want to try to do. Okay, like that, does that look weird? Like, I feel like this part looks weird. Should it, should it be more like, the whole thing. I think it should be the whole thing. Yeah. As I said before, I don't plan this out. <laughs> I plan as I go. If I did it like this. No. No, 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 no. It looks too weird. Let's line this up. It's funny, I don't even know when did the camera stop. I wish the camera would just like beep at me like five seconds before it's gonna stop recording because I know it only records for 28 minutes and then it'll stop recording. But you know when you're so into planning and you have like, you know, ideas, you just totally forget about the time. You just have so much fun and you forget about the time. So I have no idea where I left off in the last footage and I can't really check because then it'll move my camera. I was talking about question and answers. If I haven't done one of those before that, you guys, you know, leave me questions and I answer them in my plan with me videos. If this works out, if you do guys, if you guys do enjoy videos like this, let me know in the comment below and we will do a question and answer plan with me. I don't know if it's gonna be voiceover, but I'd rather do it while I film and answer them. But to me, I feel like when I, when I film my plan with me and I talk, I feel like I get, it's slow for me. I don't know. This is all so new to me, talking. Not talking, but talking on camera to you guys. Because as I mentioned before, I do talkovers and, okay, that's, I would, by now I'll be saying, okay, that's enough of me talking, but no, 
I have to continue talking. <laughs> and here I am just laughing to myself. But not really because I'm laughing with you guys or you guys are laughing at me. I don't know. As I said before, I think my husband thinks I'm going crazy right now talking to talking this through. Okay. Ooh. Okay, there we go. I think this one will be down here. I'm gonna cut these out. They're just too pretty not to be used. There's too many patterns going on. Too many patterns. Yes, I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna balance it off like that. Yes. I love foil. Do you guys love foil? I love foil. Okay. I think that's it for. Um, then we're gonna glue this up here, or maybe down here, or maybe here. I think it go quite right there. But anyways, that's the last part because that's just decor. And now I'm going to start doing my writing and plan with me. Okay, let's start doing my today. So before I start, I want to put a header. I should use the whales, shouldn't I? Because I haven't used this. <sighs> oh, fun fact. This summer, I did touch a whale. We went to a place called Marina, which is an hour and 15 minutes away from our home and it's all about you know the sea sea creatures you get to see all the dolphins the seals everything and they put on a show for you and they do tricks so it's like yeah oops what did I do and in the beluga whale exhibit they had a meet and greet thing like experience that you guys could do I think it was you have to pay for it for sure if you want to touch a whale but that was pretty cool like it was ten dollar per person so family of four was just 40 bucks but there's more to touch and you get to feed it you know it was great for the kids like it was literally up close and personal like you touch 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 and it was amazing like these creatures the beluga whales are massive and and when they come up to like eat the food like their mouth is just so open and you're like oh <laughs> but my little ones they had such a blast they enjoyed it and that was their their highlight of that day was to touch that beluga whale and surprisingly they feel very spongy it's I was thinking like something else but when I touched it it's like really Spongy. I don't know. I, I thought it would be like a pig, but I've never touched a pig before. But it's it's very spongy and soft and smooth, very smooth. But anyways, enough of me talking. Okay, so let's start doing my day. So Monday is a holiday, and I think we're going to spend time with our family. I think we're going to meet my new niece, Charlie. She's She was born two weeks ago, so she's only two weeks old. And I think we're gonna go visit her this day. Yes, so I'm just gonna pull out my sticker book and start doing these. So along the way, I'll be using this. This is my sticker book here. Then I put all my functional like icon stickers that I use. You guys don't see this in my plan with me, but this is. Not how I sort my sticker out, but majority of the sticker that I use will be in here. Also gonna pull out these ones. There was a new one that I bought. These were the old, old version. Maybe, yes, the mom. So I'm gonna do, pull this one out for sure. These one we'll see. First meal plans. Gotta figure out meal plans, obviously. 
Um, usually, usually, I know with this book here, they do have meals, but it's just, they're just so big. The stickers are just way too big. Like, like these, these are way too big. What's for dinner? Maybe I'll use my, these ones. Maybe I'll use the pink one. I do have other colors, maybe. Or we'll use this one. This one matches more. So meal plans, I think we are going to put it right here. This whole line here works well for me. I'm gonna use the lighter color because I wanna bring some lightness into this spread. See, with scattered, I I never know where to put my meal plan sticker. Like, I want it in a row, so it's easier for me. Ugh. As I said, I want it in a row, so it's easier for me to see where what I'm cooking that day instead of just scattered, but ah! Oh, sorry, I am just really particular about straight stickers and I can't tell from this angle when I film. Okay, there we go. Let's do two more here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so as I said, we're going to visit family here and just chill out. Oops. Baby Charlie. Let's do this one. I don't want a box because it's too big, but we'll do this one. It says everything. Family time. Oh. Usually with anything with kids or baby, I always do these. These are my play date stickers. So I'm just gonna put them here side by side like that. To say that we're gonna visit my new niece, Charlie. Okay, Tuesday is all going to be super busy. black because I like the black because I'm comfortable with black but uh, I can't decide I'm gonna stick with black <laughs> oh my god Cindy make up your mind okay to do so my little girl has Cleaners are coming. For 
Wednesday. I think I'm gonna do my to-dos here. It's a lot of these to-dos. Okay. So here, I'll do this one here. To -do. Okay, Wednesday. I'm gonna start packing the September mystery kit. Start packing and filling. And let's do a star to mill the stuff out that I packed. And definitely, there's going to be more of that. It's water day at my daughter's camp. So we got to pack all her beach stuff. season book for the beach for the water yeah there's a sand castle that I could use like that there we go and then lastly I have to do groceries it's been like three days I haven't done groceries. Go! And that is done for that day. Okay. Thursday. Thursday, what's going on? Thursday. Okay, Thursday, my husband has hockey. Hockey. So my husband has hockey. Put it down here. I'm gonna use this washi as a border. Like that. There we go. Okay, Friday is gonna be Super, 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 super busy. Okay, so this would be. Let's turn this off like this. This is where I film and edit and upload videos. So I'm gonna dedicate that there. Hopefully, I could do my unboxing and stuff. So. I need to film. I feel like I need smaller stickers than these because these are way too big. So film. Planner related, obviously. So this one has tiny dots that I'm going to use. Let's see if they have... Okay, I'll use the gold. Because I just feel like if I put two of these together, it just makes it so overwhelming. So I'm just going to do these icons. This. And like this. Right. Down a bit. 
some sort of border here and here. Maybe I do the scallop. I just find washi using it as borders for no kit type of spread is so convenient. And that's why I designed this one because it's just so generic and you could just make pretty borders out of it. As you can see here, it's one of my ultimate favorite too. So this is, not is, but will be available in the shop also. Okay, so we're just gonna edit the above, which is plan with me. Saturday, it's a weekend. So you should find it hard for this. Okay, so we can. So obviously family time. Um, Saturday, what's going on Saturday, Sunday? This is actually my parents' anniversary. Can't forget about that. daughter and being the eldest I should know this but I think they were married I don't know I'm not gonna risk it <laughs> I don't want to say the wrong date the wrong years and then you know get somebody in trouble <laughs> and buy the wrong present so we're not gonna do that okay um, this will be for next week so I'm just gonna put a check box I do takeouts on the weekend, it's because I need rest from cooking five days in a row and cleaning the dishes and everything. Yes, that's my chores. <laughs> I need a break from that, so that's why we're doing takeout, which is great. Um, for these two days, I think we're gonna do some kind of chicken here. I'm gonna do chicken legs. Okay, so here, what I have left is this. I'm gonna put something here and something here, like a poke thing. 
beauty is all around my whole heart. I feel like something needs to be here. I'm not too sure what. So maybe I'm gonna put this like that. I know you guys, but when I plan, it's like a bomb that goes off here. Seriously, stickers everywhere. Ah. And it's just stickers and papers, stickers and papers everywhere. Oh, let's put a trim on this one. I didn't do the scale because there's one here already, so that's why I'm doing this one instead of the scallop. And I'm gonna finish it off the sum of the trims with these stars just to tie in the stars here too. I love these skinny washi too because it just adds so much not so much, but just like little details and it finish off the spread itself and it acts as a great divider too. And doesn't take much space also. And it is available, as I say, in my Etsy shop. So yeah, there we go. I think this looks good. Okay. I feel like Oh, it's missing like some kind of journaling card or something, but I don't have any pictures to put in here. Maybe a quote? I don't know. I mean, that should just stop, you know? Just need to know when to stop, right? No, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. I'm just cleaning up. <laughs> I hate a messy, messy area, so I was just cleaning up. Sorry if I was out of frame not doing anything. It's because I'm just cleaning up. Okay. Okay, so this is just going to be out here. Put it back into my planner. guys oops 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 and there you go I hope you guys enjoy this plan with me video it's my first time doing this um, as I go and I hope I didn't bore you as much uh, but there'll be definitely well I don't know let me know if you do like it or not, if you don't, and I'll just stick with my voiceover and super fast plan with me, which is 15 minutes long. I don't know how long this plan with me is gonna take for me to edit. I'll try to keep it as short as possible, maybe like 30 minutes. Um, but let me know what you think in the comment down below. Uh, I do like the, the idea of doing a question and answer. And I think for that one, I might use a kit because with me and kits, it's a lot faster when I use the actual kit to do that. And instead of just planning um, a no kit like this, because this will, this literally took me an hour and a half just fiddling around with it and everything. You guys don't know it because I edit the videos, but yes, this literally took me an hour and a half to finish. So hopefully in my next ones, or the future ones that I'll be doing a question and answer will be a kit one, and that will be faster too. So if you do like this, please comment below. If you don't like this, please comment below. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Happy planning, bye.